Thank you, and you too. So I have a very nice news for myself. Uh, yeah. Recently, um, I am reading from my uh, cell phone books. So in uh, application that I read, uh, I didn't know that there is a simple way to link uh, Word to Lingoleo, but there it is. So mm. the word, word that I don't know, I just click on it and then share, uh, and then through the um, options I have, uh, add to Lingo Leo. That's awesome! <laughs> wow, I didn't know. Is that it mean. new for you, Alex? <laughs> Hello <laughs> for everybody. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So I, I, use it, I use it options uh, more than three years. <laughs> well, no. Uh, I'm reading uh, from my cell phone uh, with... Uh, how this it says? FB2 uh, Reader. Uh -huh. uh, the app through yeah. Android. So yeah. I didn't know uh, it has a connection with Lingualeo. So it's awesome. Great. Now I will be knowing 100% of the words. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. That's going to help you a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, Andre, you knew about this feature. This is like a special app um, mm -hmm. designed for Lingualeo, yeah? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. through uh, Chrome on or Opera, there is, yeah, I know this feature and this, uh, I don't know how to say it, not an app, but Plugins. I don't yeah, plugin. Yeah, I know about this plugin and I'm uh, using it uh, through my desktop, but I didn't know my app on my Android phone has used it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. great. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Very nice. We're happy for you. Yeah. Uh, so all this time you, you could have used it, but you didn't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's better late than never. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, hello, Andre. How are you? How was your day? Mm, nothing special has happened. <laughs> uh, it's true. Uh, glad it's Friday. Um, a typical Friday for me. Any plans for tomorrow? Uh, for tomorrow, yes. Many plans. I need to... Uh, I go to lesson as it's usual for me to my yeah. student with symphonic writing. <laughs> oh, well, this is every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every Saturday at two o'clock. Um, and I need to uh, do some uh, deals with my friends and my partners, business partners. It will be a very hard day <laughs> for me. Mm, busy, busy Saturday. Yeah. Well, at least hopefully when you get back, you can you can relax a bit. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any plans for the other guys, Artyom and Lydia? What are you doing on the weekend? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to test for new Nissan X Trail. Uh, oh, you mentioned something like this. Yes, I wa I'm waiting this car with new appearance. It looks like uh, more interesting than previous line. But tomorrow uh, I understand what's the new car. This is the new, um, it's a f like an SUV, right? It's like a four-wheel drive. Yes, I I I'd like a CRV, mm -hmm. but uh, now it's very expensive for for me. Became after uh, rubble is had a problem. Uh, almost yes, but what new X Trail uh, price is suitable. It's also suitable almost, and I think get but, old uh, one. Old one is better <laughs> for me. I think it's more solid looks, rock solid. Mm, the new so. X Trail is mm, kind of rough for maybe. 
Okay, tomorrow. <laughs> I saw it first of all. Yeah. And you're gonna be able to test drive it, yeah? Yes. Oh, that should be fun. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, here in the UK, you can get one for twenty-three thousand pounds. Now you can you can compare it how much it will cost in in Moscow to get. Uh, so how it's cost in e euro? In euro, that's yeah. probably I don't know, maybe about almost thirty. Thirty thousand. Uh, okay, one second. So, uh, yeah, so 23, 23, it's two million rubles in nowadays. It's about th almost thirty-two thousand euros, actually. Thirty-two. Almost yeah. thirty-two. <laughs> so, yeah, twenty-three thousand pounds in rubles. How much would that be? Many. <laughs> huh? A lot. Yeah. That's like woohoo. Yeah. Two point two million, right? Yeah. Two point two million. But in Russia it cost uh, one and a half million. No. Yes. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How is that possible? It should be cheaper here, shouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe we say it in a different complexion. <laughs> but this is the cheapest one. This is the, the newest. The newest. Uh, this is a 2015 model. Yes. That's true. And it's starting from 23,000 pounds. For us? So it's going to be even more expensive if you want to choose any optional extras mm -hmm. uh, and all that. It's definitely going to go much higher than that. So this is like the lowest price. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought it would have been more expensive in Russia. No. Maybe because you're, you're closer to Japan. I don't know. Since it's Maybe. Japanese. Don't worry. When uh, sanction will be... Uh, put in uh, place. Put in place. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh, they will uh, drive only uh, local national cars, which yeah. are really cheaper and <laughs> and uh, very uh, worst, mm -hmm. the worst. Then. Yeah, yeah. What is is the Lada still being driven? Is the Lada popular? <laughs> Lada Kalina. <laughs> Still, it's popular because uh, of its price. It's very affordable, yeah? yeah? Yeah. The most affordable car, maybe, through our market. Wow. And it's very durable. It lasts. No! No! It's not reliable. No! It's just cheap junk. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I thought it would have been like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, in Russia we are only tank uh, who's supposed to be a tank. <laughs> tank the actual tank is, is a proper tank. Uh, are the tanks equality though? The the tanks, I mean, from the army. Yes, it's easy to buy in a weapon shop. Just put, <laughs> it's put in state usually. <laughs> The you simple the people uh, <laughs> may buy it uh, in uh, usual shops. <laughs> no problem. Mm, joke, wow. I suppose. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the new. No, it, no, it's uh, uh, really uh, oh, official position of the president. Really? Put, yes. Yes, absolutely. This is a lot. Oh. No international it's... conferences. Uh, he told that uh, no Russians in Ukraine uh, at all. No weapon. But uh, you can see on uh, easily uh, on YouTube the new uh, the newest uh, weapons uh, from Russia. Our uh, terrorists use it uh, in the uh, east of uh, uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, um, uh, yes, I'm, I'm yes, I mean, yes, yes. This uh, is a Lada. Lada X-ray by Anderson is new director for Lada. Yes, I expected mm -hmm. it. it's really good. Uh, it will be really good Lada because another complication is really interesting. He looks very nice, very attractive. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, he makes you want to hug the car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just looking at it, it looks really the the shape and the curves uh, stunning. As they, as they can guess, uh, no details uh, produced in Russia used in this car. <laughs> so maybe, um, may, maybe just uh, uh, body, main body, but uh, so there uh, is another engine. car. Uh, yeah. It's uh, almost at production. Almost. Okay. I think it will be production in 2000. Oh, this is another ladder. Yeah. Maybe it will be the best ladder. I it hope. looks similar to a Hyundai. It looks almost like a Hyundai. Yeah, uh, they prefer to beat Hyundai Solaris uh, our, on our markets. Wow, it's going to be tough. Yeah, mm, it will the, Korea, the Koreans are getting really good. But really it fast. will be cheaper. I I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Lydia is boring. <laughs> Lydia. Yeah, Lydia, we're so sorry. I actually asked Lydia and Artyom, what are your plans for yeah. the weekend? And <laughs> Artyom was... Artyom said. <laughs> Artyom answered usual. first. So sorry. So uh, anyways, Lydia, what are your plans for the weekend? Mm, nothing special. I think uh, men are more lucky <laughs> than women because we have cho chose, chose, yeah. chose, and we must do it. And uh, men like uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Women. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she said that with all due respect. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, when it comes to the weekend, many tend to relax, mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. whatever we want. <laughs> but then the women do all the usual house, household chores, yeah. Okay, then. Let's have a look. Let's start the lesson, shall we? Um, before we get sidetracked. Um, we are actually almost finished with this particular unit. We're doing a vocabulary for IELTS, for those who are not aware, and maybe those watching from the outside or from the future. Um, yeah, so we're doing vocabulary for IELTS, and we are completing Unit 5. We discussed... What did we discuss? Who remembers? Different Shades. meanings of the words uh -huh. in a context uh, depend, uh, depending on context. Wow, what is this? Oh, you <laughs> weren't here. Time. Yeah, I don't don't remember this theme. Mm. Yeah, it's all about. It's a pretty it's a pretty short unit. It's not very long at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about. I'll just scroll up. Gadgets. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I see the words. Yeah, it's mainly and describing and dimensions and processes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, we did a lot of vocabulary on this, and um, we looked at these shapes. Uh, so we learned what what an angle is, diameter, it kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. from primary and high school. <laughs> Only one circumference. Circumference. Yeah. I'll add it to my vocabulary because I don't know this. Mm, what's circumference? Who remembers? Number two. Number two. Yeah, the circumference. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, the yeah. whole top of the edge of this glass, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Everything else is... I don't know. Everything else is, I think known to us. And then we listened to a podcast or an audio clip and we had to pay close attention to the measurements that were mentioned and which were used in, in you know in according to this diagram. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did that successfully 
and then we learn some more vocabulary. Yeah, some of the students were a bit, you know, confused when it comes to this word secure. Uh, so basically, these words here had have two meanings. So we have A and B. In both sentences, one of these words fits it fits in. However, it has a different meaning. Who remembers what was this first one? Number one, we had to read us. Suspend. Yes, very good. We had to suspend the meeting because the fire alarm, fire alarm went off unexpectedly. So suspend here means delay off, delay, call off, mm -hmm. cancel until another time, and so on. Um, and then here again, suspend is used. However, it means something different, something totally different. If you suspend the light directly above the object, you will see its shape more clearly. What does suspend here mean? Suspend. What's the other word that we can use? Um, <laughs> when you place uh, the light yeah. in, uh, in the find it place. <laughs> Mm, yeah, but how? Uh, in on the top? Yeah, above. So you hang it. You hang. You hang the light directly above the object. Suspend means to hang. Mm -hmm. Suspended mm -hmm. in the air. In the air. Mm -hmm. And the same thing we did with the you know um, the other four examples. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're quite interesting. So if you haven't done it, maybe it's worth taking a snapshot of this and see if you can practice it. Um, I'll quickly do that. Oh, no, Alex, you weren't, you weren't here. To adjust. Yeah. And the next one will be uh, adjust. Yeah, mm -hmm. We had to call in the builders to adjust it. Mm -hmm. There was a bulge in the wall. And then he produced some good, ad good data uh, to adjust his argument. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it adjust? Uh, in this situation, it's mean uh, mm, uh, to add you, something to yes. his argumentation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, it, it's not adjust. It's another one. Okay. Reinforce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To reinforce. Yeah, it's kind of to support his argument. Yeah, and support the wall. Exactly, and he had kind of uh, to strengthen, to reinforce the uh -huh. wall because it was, mm -hmm. you know, there was something mm -hmm. wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So the builders had to reinforce it to make it stronger. Okay, so on. So let's not do this again. I just wanted to briefly yeah, yeah, yeah. tell you what, what what was the principle of this mm -hmm. exercise. And then we did some more listening, mm -hmm. and the students had to pay close attention to that. And then this is where we left um, our previous lesson. So another exam practice, this is a listening, um, labeling a diagram, classifying. So this is a two-minute audio file which I will play now, and you're going to hear three students talk about a project for a course in product design. They have been instructed to create a device which will convey a ping-pong ball between two tables positioned a meter apart. Listen and match the suggestions with the person who makes, uh, who makes them by writing the correct letter A, B, or C next to the questions, one to six. All right. Okay, so any questions before I play the audio? No. Okay, let's do it. I just listen and don't answer because <laughs> about diagram, no. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, this is a more a listening uh, task. So you just have to listen be, uh, attentively, and then who is it that mentions it? Is it Lisa, A, Bill, B, or Omar, C? So we need to put mm. A, B, or C next to the numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. I'll play the audio now. Eight. Okay, as I understand it, we've got to build a device that will allow us to convey a ping pong ball from one table to another a meter away. Bill, what have we got? We're only allowed to use six sheets of paper, a box of paper clips, some thread, four drinking straws, and two elastic bands. Mm. I'm not sure where to start. Anybody got any ideas? Maybe we could use the elastic bands to launch the ball across the gap. That's not a bad idea, Omar. But I think that would be rather difficult to do. Hmm. I think we should create a sort of bridge with the sheets of paper. We could suspend it between the tables. Oh, how would that work? We could cut the paper into strips of about 10 centimetres wide. I get it, and attach them end to end with paper clips. But how would we secure the bridge to the table? We could use thread for that. I'm sure we could work something out. But what I'm not sure about is how we can keep the ball from falling off the bridge. Well, if we fold the sides of the paper so that it forms a cylinder or tube, that would keep the ball from rolling onto the floor. This would also help keep the bridge rigid enough to span the distance between the tables. What do you think, Bill? I think that's a brilliant idea. If necessary, we could use the drinking straws to further reinforce the structure. Do you think 10 centimetre strips will be wide enough? What's the diameter of a ping pong ball? That's a good question, Omar. I don't know, maybe two and a half centimetres? OK, what about 15 centimetres? So what do you think? Um, I don't I might remember. Have, <laughs> I might have to play it again. So oh. we have to listen. I highlighted suggestions because we have to know um, who suggested what. No, I understand this, but <laughs> only four points I found. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Should let's, I play one more time? Let's try it. I think no. You uh, want to try? Let's let's do that uh, from the first time. Okay, let's try. It, it will be easy <laughs> after <laughs> the second. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so who? Suggested this. Project the ball into the air. I think it's Omar. Yeah, I, I supposed to. Yes. Maybe it's Omar. Mm -hmm. I think it was a bill. Mm -hmm. Project the ball into the air. Mm. But Omar said uh, about a bridge between the tables. Next. Mm. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe I you think, okay. I'll, I'll tell you the answer. Uh, with Omar. <laughs> Omar actually he did suggest the first one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He did suggest the first one. Yeah. The second one I think it was Bill. Agree. Any objections? It was Bill! Yes. Bingo. <laughs> hey. So you've uh, you've mixed them up, uh, Artyom. Yeah, first one was Alma, then was Bill. Maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm gonna I might play it again for you so just so you can see how to relate your answers to the suggestions. Fasten the strips of paper together with clips. It was proposed by Lisa. Yeah. Lisa is the genius of this group. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was. It was Lisa who suggested that. What about four? Tie the bridge to the table. Maybe I'm not sure, but maybe it was a mark. Yeah, possibly. I, uh, I also agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said that. That's true. L Lydia, what do you think five is? Who suggested this? Create a tube from the strips of paper. Mm, I have no idea. <laughs> no clue? <laughs> no. Mm, not even the slightest idea? Not even the tidiest idea? Maybe view? <laughs> no. no, I don't know. No? No. no. Omar? <laughs> it was a girl. Yeah, it was the girl. Really? Yeah, I, don't, I don't yeah. believe that. <laughs> Create a tube from the strips of paper, and finally make the structure stronger. Uh, <laughs> yes, correct, Bill. Really well done. That was good. Okay, I think I'll play it again so you can see mm -hmm. how you how you have chosen them. Okay, I, I, I think, think uh, guys. Uh, smartest <laughs> than doing this uh, topic because <laughs> maybe because uh, DJ yeah, Alvin, yeah, Alvin, I, you. I far from this <laughs> yeah it's all it's all it all comes down to really paying attention I think like, it's uh, general attention to the details and nothing yeah. special. see the the exam tip here listen for collocations and context to recognize the meaning of keywords. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of make sure you read this first. So yeah, it it's a uh, paraphrased uh, uh, expressions. Yeah. Which practically the same, but in other contexts. That's it. So, you know, usually you will have some time to quickly have a look at these sentences to understand them and then you will listen to the audio. So I didn't give you much time to actually read the, read this, maybe this is why it was a bit tough. But anyways, I'll play it again so see how the answers went. So the first one we said uh, first was Omar. Omar, yeah? Omar. C. Second one? Bill. So I'll type it. One C. Two. Bill, yeah? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Right. Then? Lisa. Three. Three, A. Four, Omar. C. Four, Omar. Yeah. And five and six. A. Lisa and Bill. Excellent. All right. Let's put them all there. OK, so I'll let me play that again for you then. Track eight. Okay, as I understand it, we've got to build a device that will allow us to convey a ping pong ball from one table to another a meter away. Bill, what have we got? We're only allowed to use six sheets of paper, a box of paper clips, some thread four drinking straws, and two elastic bands. Mm, I'm not sure where to start. Anybody got any ideas? Maybe we could use the elastic bands to launch the ball across the gap. That's not a bad idea, Omar. But I think that would be rather difficult to do. Hmm. I think we should create a sort of bridge with the sheets of paper. We could suspend it between the tables. How would that work? We could cut the paper into strips of about 10 centimetres wide. I get it, and attach them end to end with paper clips. But how would we secure the bridge to the table? We could use thread for that. I'm sure we could work something out. But what I'm not sure about is how we can keep the ball from falling off the bridge. Well, if we fold the sides of the paper so that it forms a cylinder or tube, that would keep the ball from rolling onto the floor. 
This would also help keep the bridge rigid enough to span the distance between the tables. What do you think, Bill? I think that's a brilliant idea. If necessary, we could use the drinking straws to further reinforce the structure. Do you think 10 centimetre strips will be wide enough? What's the diameter of a ping pong ball? That's a good question, Omar. I don't know, maybe two and a half centimetres? OK, what about 15 centimetres? OK, hopefully that <laughs> clarified it. Even now, I don't understand what construction they discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, and what uh, they the... invented. <laughs> I, I think, think they, it like, was like a game, <laughs> something uh, to be a genius, to do something, uh, some structure from common things, yes? So, uh, the point is, uh, you have a ball, ping pong ball, mm -hmm. and uh, you have to transfer it from one table to another. But you have only uh, some uh, piece of paper yeah, and, and uh, clips and some clips clips. and yeah. Okay, but for it's what? It's like a branch. I story. don't understand for, the for reason for this branch <laughs> operation. I think it's yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> Me too. Uh, I don't know how to say. It. Just a riddle. How how with all these make? Uh, ball to another table. That's it. It's nothing to do with some invention. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing spectacular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just to keep us thinking. I think they have a lot of free time. For <laughs> yeah, they, do. <laughs> they don't know what to do with themselves, so they... Yeah. So let's create something complicated that won't even be of any use <laughs> or purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was it. Well done. That completes our uh, fifth unit. So moving down, we're going to start the sixth, and we'll be talking about cities. Um, words associated with human geography, recognizing positive and negative connotation, and recognizing um, superordinate terms. Very interesting. I believe this unit is also not very long. Um, so let's have a look at the vo vocabulary here. We have nouns. We're going to start off with nouns. So as always, I'll get you, the lovely students, to read them for everyone and then perhaps try to give us an example. So Artyom, please do us the honor and start. Uh, amenity, amenities. Uh, noun amenities are things such as shopping centers or sport uh, facil facilities that are approved for people's convenience, enjoyment, or comfort. The hotel amenities include health clubs, conference. I don't know how we treat fine. facilities. Facilities. Facilities and banqueting rooms. Mm -hmm. Is that a new word for you? Yes. Yeah. But I think it's the same story. It's convince the same, yes? Conveniences, uh, features, something that may be used by visitors and so on. Comfort, yes. So yeah, convenience is not a thing that we can, it's not like an amenity. Uh, convenience is like something that's comfortable or easy of use or helpful to you. Convenience could be if you, for example, you live very close to your work. That's a convenience. You don't have to travel far. You don't have to commute. Yeah. It's closer to services, different types of services. Yeah, so like they said here, the hotel amenities include mm -hmm. health clubs. So a health club is an amenity. 
conference facilities, you know, when business businesses or companies are um, at the hotel, staying at the hotel, they need to have conferences, meetings, so they have a facility for those conferences. That's also an amenity. And banqueting rooms, you know, for parties and so on. So these are all amenities, people that people can make use of. Okay, I can say, for example, the X-Trail amenities have a special lights, yes? Includes a special lights. Yes, 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 you can say that, yeah. Okay. Certain amenities have um, special lights, okay, yeah. Okay. So you can be talking about a, a specific room, maybe, you know, which is designed to be for parties. You might have disco lights and all that. Okay. Next one. Lydia? Commuter. Commuters. Now, uh, a commuter is a person who travels a long distance to work every day. The number of commuters to London has dropped by once uh, hundred yes. thousand. Oh, yes. 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 Mm. Mm. It's people. Uh, it's <laughs> it's people who live in Moscow, and um, no, who uh, live in suburb, suburb suburbia. Yeah, yeah. And um, they have to spend a lot of time yeah. during. Uh, yes. Uh, to reach the uh, workplace. They have to commute. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is also the noun, commute. Yeah. But the person who is commuting is a commuter. That's as simple as that. Um, so if you're going to work you, by train or whatever, public transport, you are, com you are the commuter. Very good. Andre. Congestion, uncountable noun. If there is congestion in a place, the place is extremely crowded and blocked with traffic of, or people. Uh, the problem of traffic congestion will not disappear in a hurry. Uh, energy consumption, congestion and pollution have increased. It's like a, a traffic jam and something like that. Yes. Uh, uh, now in Kiev we have no problems with congestion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's a good sentence. Yeah, there are no congestions nowadays in mm -hmm. in Kiev or in Ukraine. Housing, Alex. Housing. We come to well noun. You refer to buildings in which people live. As housing, when you are talking about the standard price or availability, a uh, shortage of affordable housing. Mm. Maybe housing market. Uh, it will be a good example. Yes. Yeah. Housing or real estate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real estate is the same, I suppose. Yep. Now basically mm -hmm. housing it comes down to houses and flats and all together. Mm -hmm. That's the collective collective word that we use. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Next one, Artyom. A resident. And uh, now in the residents of a house or area, uh, the people who live there, they uh, Archbishop, Archbishop, yeah. Archbishop called upon the government to build more low-cost homes for local residents. More than 10% of managed residents live below the poverty line. Munich. Munich. Yeah. Munich. What's it mean? What does it mean? München. München. Mm. Okay. Same. In English we say Munich. Munich. Yeah. How do you say in Russian? München? München. Like, like the German. Like a German, yes. And uh, <laughs> uh, the second uh, letter, uh, not you, but you umlaut with two points over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct, yes. It's the U. 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 Yeah. Yes. U. Mm -hmm. ah. 
the good old German speaking days. <laughs> yes, so resident. Give us a sentence with resident, Artyom. I'm of local resident of Nizhny Novgorod. <laughs> yeah, oh, very good. That would be, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's okay. Immigrant, Lydia. Immigrant uh, nouns. An immigrant is a person who has come to live in a country from some others. Other country. Industries that uh, employ large number of illegal immigrants, Portugal, Spain, and Italy, all have large immigrant population from Africa. Mm, Russia has also a lot of immigrants because people uh, in uh, their um, maybe country or country. cities yeah. yes, uh, have problems with work and salary, and they move here for supporting their family. Yes. Nice. Good sentence. Thank you, Lydia. Yeah, the immigrants in every country aren't there. I don't think there's a country in the world that doesn't have immigrants. Okay, next one, Andre. Infrastructure. Infra infrastructures. Uh, now, the infrastructure of a country, society of uh, organ or organization consists of the basic facilities such as transport, communications, power supplies, and buildings which enable it to function. Investment in infrastructure projects, a focus on improving existing in infrastructure. Um, a contemporary society has uh, uh, very uh, developed infrastructure. Very good sentence, yes, thank you. I think you probably have the same word in, 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 in Russian and Ukrainian. Yeah. Yeah. Infrastructure. Infrastructure, yeah. right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, a lot of the, the you know, these, these long words are just copied to other languages, you know. Yeah, yeah. Or if it comes down to, you know, the art. I think it's borrowed from maybe in English. Mm, no. Sure it's Latin. Ah, it's Latin. Latin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Then we have um, Alex. Inhabitants. Uh, inhabitants. Now, uh, the inhabitants of a place are the people who live there. It's, mm, I think, some kind of residence. Uh, so, plus of uh, the inhabitants of Glasgow. Jamaica's original inhabitants were the Arawak Indians. Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, so, inhabitant is uh, like resident person who lives uh, somewhere where he lives. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe resident more locally used for uh, direct uh, mm -hmm. uh, parts of the city. True. But inhabitants, it's uh, like a Zhitil. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the city uh, in general, more, mm -hmm. uh, yes, in, in more mm -hmm. uh, wide sense. <laughs> yes. Inhabitants of Moscow. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, uh, for example, you can say I am an inhabitant uh, of Moscow, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, you are a uh, resident of the Lublin, for example. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, I know the difference now. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Okay, next one. Thank you for that. Yes, Artyom? Neighborhood. A neighborhood is one of the parts of a town where people live. Uh, it seemed like a good neighborhood to raise my children. He was born and grew up in the Sledgebatch neighborhood of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Mos- Moscow has a criminal neighborhood. Okay. Like, like Lubitsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Not yeah. only. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of cities have, have quite mm. bad and criminal neighborhoods. It, it kind of makes you makes you wonder a question. You know, can these neighborhoods, these criminal neighborhoods, can they actually be prevented by the government or are they allowed purposefully? It's very difficult. What do you think? I mean, you can imagine the, 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 the strength of the government, the police force, the army. I'm sure they can bring that under control. But anyways, that's maybe for another time. <laughs> it just crossed my mind. So, um, adjectives, how much do we have? Well, almost finished, okay. So, adjectives, ah, interesting ones. Mm-hmm. Lydia. <clears throat> I know hustle and bustle, and uh, it's, yes, uh, yes. no, it's non, it's, f- I'll say, non. Mm-hmm. Bustling, ed- adjective, um, a bustling place is full of people who are very busy or lovely. Uh, the bustling streets of Salzburg. Z- Salzburg? Yes. Salzburg. Oxford was, uh, was bustling with students uh, and tourists and shoppers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> bustling. Uh, all capi- capitals uh, or, uh, or big cities mm-hmm. uh, Usually is bustling place. Usually are bustling or are or have usually bustling places or, uh, or have bustling uh, places. Yes, good. Mm-hmm. Or can be yeah, they, they have bustling places. Yes. yes, very good. Crowdy, yes, it's crowdy. Yeah, mainly busy and lively. Overcrowded. Maybe yeah, overcrowded. Overcrowded. Like uh, ants. <laughs> Very busy and full of life. You know, it's lively. All the shops are open. People are walking about, they're eating out at the restaurants, cafes. You know, people are just walking around and it's very alive and busy. Mm-hmm. Pioneering. Oh, it's <clears throat> down for Pioneering. Uh, yeah, and pioneer. <laughs> Pioneering work or a pioneering uh, individual does something that uh, has not been done before. For example, by developing or using new methods or uh, techniques. The school has won a award for its pioneering work with uh, the community. A pioneering Scottish surgeon and anatomist named John Hunter. Um, uh, pioneering is t- a typical. Uh, no. But it's an adjective. <laughs> yes, I, I tried <laughs> to use it uh, as a noun. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Pioneering uh, scientists uh, uh, usually uh, mm, usually are. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> a cl- close, uh, uh, cl- close people, for example. Okay. Yes. So pioneering people, they they do pioneering work. Yeah, they kind mm. of inventive. They invent things and. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Very A good adjective to remember. We have four more. Let's see if we can complete them. We're already over time, but we'll do them anyways. Alex. Uh, historic adjective. Uh, something that is historic is important and in history or is likely to be important. The opening of Scottish Parliament was a historical moment. Historic moment. When it's historical. A fourth historic election victory. Yeah. So, I don't know. This win was, was historic. Yes, this win was very historic. Yeah, this was a historic win for our party, our political party, let's say. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
rural. How say correctly rural? <laughs> rural. 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 Uh, rural. Uh, adjective rural means uh, relating to country areas as opposite to large towns. These plants have a tendency to grow in the more rural areas. The closure of rural schools. Uh, if I understand correctly, example, I like drink uh, rural milk. Okay, see? Mm. Ah, you like to drink milk from rural places, perhaps. Yes. yes. But rural is adjective, yes? Yeah, yeah. It usually, okay. <clears throat> when we say rural, we, we relate, we use it with place, yeah, place, area. It's yeah, almost like remote, but it's away from large towns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Sprawling, Lydia. Sprawling adjective. Uh, a place that is sprawling has been built over large, large, large area. In, in an. Um, Untidy or uncontrolled way. Sprawled mm -hmm. suburb on the edge of the big city. The house was a sprawling ranch style building. Mm -hmm. the, the, amount, no, or the amount of people in uh, big cities sprawling uh, is no. no. I'll say. <laughs> I understand meaning, but example, mm -hmm. it's all. Um, it will. It must be about city or another. Only like a uh, flood, a uh, lot of water sprawling. No, mm -hmm. in, the, in the spring. <laughs> It's, for example, typical for uh, poor Indian or Chinese oh. cities uh, when the neighborhoods uh, uh, growing up without control, like some and, asteroid. And some asteroid. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. And uh, Moscow region, uh, some people uh, built uh, built uh, houses by sprawling. Out. <laughs> Sprawling houses, uh, but no, now it's, no, it, no. it was Didn't. illegal. Illegal. Hmm? Look, uh, look at this moment. Uh, it's better to say the Moscow has some uh, neighborhoods, uh, sprawling neighborhoods. It's more. Uh, closer but to it's the adjective. It's adjective. Yes, it's sprawling. Not, it's yeah. Yes, uh, sprawling uh, neighborhoods. Very typical. Adjective to the noun. Yeah, yes, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, um, yeah. origin is spr 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 sprawling place. So the, uh, Moscow suburb is. Uh, very sprawling. <laughs> Very sprawling place. <laughs> or this area is uncontrolled. Uh, this uh, is a very, it's an uh, it's a sprawling area of Moscow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see if you're referring to the suburb or the area, the place there. Yeah, good. Like you see sometimes in Brazil, you know, you have the not necessarily the slums, but it's just all over the place, you know. Mm -hmm. Untidy and it's not very in order. It's irregular, you know, the way it's built. Finally, we have urban. Oh. It means belonging to or relating to a town or city. Most mm -hmm. of the population is an urban population. Most urban areas are close to a park. Urban planning. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, the urban uh, style life uh, is very boring for uh, the most of people. 
for most of people. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sentence. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Okay, so that was the list of vocab, and we're going to continue next time, hopefully. Um, so we've gone almost 10 minutes over, but um, I, th I thought it was necessary for us to do this because who knows what's going to happen next time. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. I hope you have a splendid weekend, and I shall see you on Monday. See you. Thank you, Alan. Bye, all. Bye. You're most welcome. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>